Good afternoon, friends. Some news from the company resource. Namely, what is happening in the world of go karting with Duty of Motors. Why have I mentioned the word world? Let me explain. Right after the new year, we sent a kit to our partners in Germany. A kit developed by the company resource for Remo Evo karting. Well, the kit was fully developed, modernized, tested in Moscow. We showed it at the conference in Moscow. And it was so successful, in my opinion, that we decided to certify it. We certified it and we sent it to Germany. Why Germany? Because Remo is a German company. It has been producing cards for a long time. Frames are quite good. They are very much loved by rental companies and sportsmen as well. Remo itself also produces electric cards. But what's the difference? It produces non-removable batteries. So it puts a non-removable battery on the frame. And as soon as the battery runs out, it has to be charged, that's clear. And charging takes several hours, up to two hours. And our Russian rental companies, of course, cannot afford this. So they ask to move a removable battery. It is easier for them to buy not another car and a third car to race and take turns charging. No, it's easier for them to change batteries. The first mechanism was not very successful. It was hard to remove the locks. The second one was sliding. In my opinion, it is more interesting and easier to remove. Because the battery is heavy, it weighs more than 20 kilograms. So what is happening in Germany today? In Germany, the guys have quickly installed the rental kit on the Remo Evo. They've even taken it for a little ride. Now they're installing the removable battery mechanism. Next is the battery itself. And I think that will show you news from Germany in the near future. What is happening here? We have finished the fourth version of the sporty kit. It turned out to be very difficult. Well, that's how testing works. Just because you've done something doesn't mean it's gonna go bang. We're experts in, say, Slavanka motors, we know how to set them up, how to give them the right settings. But sportsmen are completely different people. They know how the car should behave. They have been racing gasoline cars for many years. They are completely satisfied with them. We are now offering them a very new thing, electric sports cars. All those nuances you know, the motor gets warm, the weight distribution is not the same, the setup is not the same. The sprockets have to be constantly changed, you try one, another, the third one. In such a mode, or such a go-kart race, it is one sprocket, then it is another sprocket, which is bigger, or smaller. And then the game with gear ratios as well. It's not simple, really. And here is the fourth version. We lengthened the kit itself. We made it almost twice as long. What for? We positioned all the parts, the controller, the DC-DC converter, the wiring. We put everything at the bottom, so that it would not interfere with the airflow to the motor. And now we've added air pockets. We've added cooling. I think that this particular version it will work. It will suit both us and sportsmen. Well, in the near future we'll go to Tula town, test it on a go-kart track, which is for rental. We'll see how it will behave there. And then, right after, we'll go to Simferopol Highway. There is a sports 
go car track there. It's not far from Moscow. We'll make an application, we will book some time, we'll film it, we'll see what the speed will be like. I would like the speed of the 95th motor from ASPP Way High Technology to be higher than 100 km per hour on that go kart track. I want the kart to go over 100 km per hour. In the random mode, 82 km per hour is what we do with Remo Evo. And everyone is satisfied. And even that is too much. But on the other hand, if it is the sports mode, the higher the speed, the better. You know, as much as it can squeeze out of itself, well, that much will be really great. Well, that is all the news. Stay tuned. Thank you for your attention. See you soon.